you have the right to pursue that enemy through hot pursuit and try to reach wherever he is. A year ago, the Kenya military made history. Following a series of provocative acts by the Al Shabaab, an estimated 5,000 Kenyan soldiers crossed into Somalia in an operation codenamed Operation Linda Inchi. A military incursion into Somalia aimed at annihilating the threat posed by the ragtag militia Al-Shabaab based in the then largely lawless country and safeguarding Kenya's territorial integrity. 365 days later, and it's a celebration of life and service of gallant men and women of the Kenya Defense Forces who lay down their lives for flag and country. <laughs> Nanyuki was the location where the top military brass, friends and family of the soldiers involved in the operation gathered to pay homage to the nation's heroes. A monument erected in honor of those who died in the line of duty. A symbol of honor for the families of the departed. One that stands as a memorial transcending generations. We shall remember you. We shall remember you when the sun rises. We shall remember you when the sun sets. We shall remember you at the daybreak. We shall remember you at nightfall. The KDF Day also marked a time when Kenyan soldiers will henceforth be honored for their great work, heroes who led the country to victory in Somalia. A time of reflection. It's the liberation of our mother on that it may. And as we are moving toward Hayo, we fought several battles before we got to Hayo. We are lean but little and to gain insights into what the incursion means to the families of the nation's heroes. We are left alone. We are left to play the role of father and mother in the house, and this becomes very stressful. It was also a day for savoring the gains made, especially the historic September 29, 2012, capture of the Al-Shabaab stronghold of Kismayo through a meticulously planned amphibious assault. One year down the line, and the results are there for all to see, KDF has succeeded where others failed. That KDF is a formidable force equal to its primary mission, which is the defense of this nation against external threat. We proved that not only could we pack, not only could we pack a little punch, against Kenya's enemy, but that you are all weather on land, air, and sea. I therefore wish to commend the CDF and his officers who planned and executed <clears throat> the mission to take Ismail with no loss of life. But much more remains to be done to secure lasting peace and security in Somalia and safeguard Kenya's territorial integrity. The KDF are currently continuing with their efforts to consolidate the gains made and pacify Kismayo and other towns with unwavering resolve. 
We have done it before. We are doing it today and remain seized and focused to undertake future tasks honestly and diligently as the Kenyan people may demand. We should be servants of our people because they trust us with their lives. Before their lives are threatened, we shall have put our lives on the line first as KDF. KDF Day will now be held annually every 14th of October. Willis Rubberu, Sunday Live, Nanyuki.